A Dane County supervisor is raising concerns about the recently approved jail consolidation project, which passed with a vote of 31 to 5 during the county board meeting on Thursday. With the funding for the project now available, Jarrell Ballard has you covered on if the project could cost more than what was approved last night. The Dane County Consolidation Project is slated to be the most expensive in the history of the county, sitting at just over $207 million. Now, while some supervisors are happy to move this project forward, others say it's a mistake. This wasn't necessary. We could have gotten a state-of-the-art building for significantly less money. And so we have to deal with the situation as it stands. And so I do believe we're making the responsible choice by doing this. Dane County is getting a new jail, but it will cost taxpayers $27 million over budget. Now that there is a single bidder, once they get started, we are locked. In. County Supervisor Anthony Gray tells me the decision made on Thursday will only end up costing taxpayers even more once the project begins. Don't for a second believe that this is the end of it. Those requests for money will keep coming. The county received only one bid for the project. Supervisor Dana Pelabon tells me that's because most contractors have already been contracted out. She voted in favor of increasing the budget, saying if the county waits any longer, it would cost more. It should have been made 10 years ago. I believe it should have been made in 2022 when the budget passed. Um, but we aren't there. We're here now. According to County Chief Financial Officer, the budget does include room for some unforeseen cost. But if that was to be exhausted, then the board will have to find more money. So do I expect a little bit of that? Absolutely. Do I expect that to the tune of what it is that we're seeing now? Zero way. Now, Supervisor Gray also believes that increasing the size of the jail will only provide more reason to fill it, which is something that Supervisor Pelabon tells me is up to county leaders to make sure it doesn't happen. Reporting in Madison, Jarrell Ballard, 27 News.